Oh yeah guys, Chongqing day number two. Uh, we are going to go explore some more breakfast places. Some more Shaohuntun. Some more noodles. So wait till the end to see some street food. I'm going to drink some oyster juice. Oh. Right on the street, going and exploring some local food. So you can see it's all open food. Also a whole lot of seasoning and sauces over here. Ooh, look at the amount of oil and the amount of meat inside there. So guys, here for breakfast, we're gonna try some wenza mian. Basically means these beans. So they mix these beans along uh, with the noodles here. And you all, they also serve it with some fried eggs, which you have to order on the side. I'm gonna add some more chili oil, and I'm gonna make it a little bit more spicy. I'm gonna need some egg as well. I like it how the noodles are soggy, but it still has a consistency. You can feel some, some green vegetables, some minced meat, um, some chili oil, which I added. Yeah, all in all, it's a good breakfast. After eating some noodles, we are now heading towards eating some wontons. Alright guys, so we are at the Shaohuntun place. You see a lot of guys freshly preparing some dumplings here. So guys, now we're gonna try some uh, dry wonton and also thousand year egg. Basically, this thousand year egg is uh, raw when it's fermented and uh, that's why it gives you the gelatin flavor. So I'm gonna try this and I'm gonna see how this one tastes like. Mm. A little sour flavor because of the fermentation. You can see the egg yolk in the middle very clearly, like there's a jelly on the outside. Going for the wonton now. This one is very different because it smells like peanut butter. It is spicy, but also sweet, also savory. A bomb of different kinds of flavor in the mouth. A little bit of peanut butter for the sweetness. Definitely worth it right now. So after having a, a really good and heavy breakfast, we're coming here for some coffee. After our coffee, we are here for some heavy lunch. So guys, on to our next restaurant. Third meal for today. So we are trying a pot full of chicken, a pot full of pork intestines and also noodles. Um, it is like hot pot but it's actually not on the stove. They actually cook it and serve it to you on, on, on your table. Here you go guys, I've already got a boneless chicken. We will see how um, this actually is. Really juicy meat, again very soft, very tender. A lot of oil, a lot of spices, a lot of flavor. Oh, yeah. Going up next, some pork in this time. In the texture, you know how fatty this is. So I've got a burst of peppercorn in my mouth. Very tender, very fatty, yet so satisfying. This actually takes 30 minutes to prepare. So we have waited here for 30 minutes. And it's worth every minute we waited. All in all guys, a very good lunch place. Again, a lot of juice, a lot of oil, a lot of fat, a lot of pleasure of trip. It actually looks so cool because it feels like I'm sitting on a roller coaster. So there's a metro right inside a live building. This is a residential building and also a metro station. At least this is my first time that I have seen a metro station inside a residential building. So after getting a street tour, we are now going for some street food.
we've just got the pork naan I can say it's called bing over here but it's a different kind of bing it's more thicker I'm gonna try this mmm so crunchy also soft and crunchy at the same time oh I can say it's more of bread not more of a minced pork So guys, street food in Chongqing. I see a lot of people here on a Sunday night. Like the street food is buzzing. The street night is buzzing here. It's a Sunday night, but people are still outside. A lot of people here on the streets are just enjoying the street food. The whole scene here is just amazing. The vibe, the atmosphere, people loving and enjoying what they're eating here. Just ordered for some some scallops and some uh, oysters. So I'm gonna try the oysters first. Here you go, guys. Oysters. I can see that there's a, there's some scallion, also a little bit of chili flakes on top, and then of course you have some oysters and you have call this funsu, which is also uh, glass noodles. Here we go, guys. Oh yeah, a healthy taste of garlic. The oyster is is so well cooked, so well grilled. I'm gonna drink some oyster juice. Oh, it's like I'm drinking a soup of garlic. Here comes the big one. That's the scallops. Whoa. A lot of garlic. A lot of oil. A lot of pleasure. 